Hi, I'm Lee Draper, an FAE with Lattice Semiconductor. We're here today to see a demo that shows how the high performance I.O. capabilities of Lattice FPGAs can be used in the consumer automotive and industrial display markets. Flat panel displays use an interface technology known as 7 to 1 LBDS, or channel link, camera link, or flat link. We've chosen to use Lattice's XP2 family of FPGAs to do this demo. The first board brings digital video in and outputs 7 to 1 LVDS data. The second board takes LVDS data in and outputs digital video. The main part of our demo uses our XP2 evaluation board. This board has an XP2-17 FPGA on it and also provides an interface for LVDS data in and out. For our source, we'll use a laptop, which provides a digital video output that will convert to 7 to 1 LVDS data. We'll take the video from the laptop and plug it into our first card. This will get converted into 7 to 1 LVDS data, which we will send to our external monitor. This is a block diagram with our Lattice FPGA actually in the circuit this time. We take LVDS data in, deserialize it, from there we adjust gain, contrast, and brightness of the video, and then we re-serialize the data and send it back out 7 to 1 LVDS data. Lattice XP2 FPGAs provide high integration needed to accomplish this kind of data manipulation. Now we'll break the link for our loopback test and connect our LVDS data up to our evaluation board. We connect both the transmit and receive sides and then again power up the boards and now our FPGA is in the chain of the LBDS data. Our first demo with the data actually passing through the FPGA allows me to adjust contrast, brightness, hue, and saturation. You'll be able to see that on the monitor. We're using 8-bit values for our data, so the adjustments are kind of coarse. With the flexibility of an FPGA, you can easily modify this design to suit your own requirements. We're now installing another demo. After recompiling with the Lattice ISP Lever Design software and downloading, we have changed the design to automatically cycle through values of gain, contrast, and brightness. Here's the LVDS data on the scope. We've seen how the data looks on the monitor, but it's important to see the actual signal integrity. This is a view of the scope with the probe on the XP2 board across the LVDS signal. So let's peek under the hood of the FPGA to see how we do this. The secret behind the high performance 7 to 1 LVDS interface is the pre-engineered source synchronous I.O. cells in the Lattice FPGAs. The on-chip LVDS buffers support transfers in excess of 700 megabits per second. Pre-engineered gearing reduces clock speed by 4 to provide 4 bits of data for the deserializer. Low skew edge clocks allow for ease of design and repeatability with design iterations. So we've just seen how Lattice FPGAs can be used to implement 7 to 1 LVDS video. If you'd like to learn more about Lattice's LVDS demo, please contact your local sales representative.